This is going to be a demonstration of doing the nitrite test using the spectrophotometer. And you can read through the significance and principle. Um, so what we're going to need is nitrite-free water, which is our deionized water. We need color reagent. So we have our color reagent here, uh, which is made from NED, sulfonilamide, and phosphoric acid. We have a nitrite standard here that we're going to use to make our standards. And note that this is a nitrite standard, not a nitrate standard. And then we have our glassware ready here. Uh, we're going to dilute our nitrite standard to make a 0 0.5 milligrams per liter nitrite standard. And then we're going to make several different dilutions of that working solution and then we're going to add our color reagent and read it on the spectrophotometer. Here you go. Okay. So we're going to add 5 mils of the 100 ppm nitrite mm -hmm. standard. Yep, it's a two deliver graduated pipette. Read eye level, looks pretty good. So, we're just going to put it in the large bottle so we can mix it well. All right, next we're going to make the standards, and we're going to take this that was just made, and we're going to use a certain number of mils of that and dilute it up to the 50 mils in these 50 mil volumetric flasks. There we go, we're going to start making our standards. Grab the other pipette. I'm going to put that down to two, two mils. Change that to four. Okay. I'll probably cut some of this out. We just have our last one to do now. And we're cool. I leveled the 20 mark. There we go. That's it. There you go. Okay. Now, each of these, we're going to fill up to 50 mils with the DI water, as according to our directions here. 
So this is our test sample. Uh, before we would set it up, we need to test its pH and make sure it's between 5 and 9. Looks like it's about 6 here, huh? Hmm. Alright, they're all filled to 50 mils. And now to each one we're going to add 2 mils of the color reagent. So we're changing the pipette tip. And then I'll let you grab it. I'll you got gloves on. Or I can on. pipe it out of there. You're you can pipe yeah, it. I think you. This is waste. Now. You, yeah. This yeah. is. We're the only ones using this, and not sharing with everybody else. So, <laughs> I'm gonna add two mils to each one. Yeah. Normally we would be pouring this off, but. Since we're the only ones doing this lab and this is going to go to waste, we're just going to do it like this. So, Look how pretty they are. We're going to have to mix them all and then we're going to read them on a spectrophotometer. So at this time everything is going to sit for 10 minutes for the reaction to take place. So while we are making the standards we should also prepare our test sample. And directions say that if our sample is very turbid we are supposed to use the filter flask and the 0.45 diameter filter to filter it. All right, not while we're waiting for that 10 minutes to be up, we are just getting prepared with our spectrophotometer. Uh, we got our cuvettes all ready and labeled uh, for our test and we're going to verify the photometric accuracy of our spectrophotometer. And you have done that before, setting the wavelength to 590 and reading the different standards that are in the box here. It's been 10 minutes and we're going to get our cuvettes ready. Okay, so we are going to set our spectrophotometer to 543 nanometers. So you hit set nanometers and then change it to 543 and enter. And now we're going to have to blank our spec. So we're going to take our blank sample, wipe the outside nicely, close the lid, hit measure blank, which is right there, and it should be zero. There you go. Right. And then we're just going to go boom, 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 each sample there. Take out 10, wipe it up, put it in there, close the lid, see the absorbance? There you go. Write it down on the piece of paper. Got it. All right. Take that one out. Grab the 20, wipe it. Put her in, close the lid, read the observance, 0 0.70, and then document that. And we're going to do that for every other standard that is here. Uh, we are doing a little experiment using the rectangular cuvettes and see if there's any difference. We're going to try the 10. And then close the lid. So it's absorbing more, right? Yes. Because it's longer. And we'll see. Maybe this will work better than the smaller one. So this one. is the five centimeter. 
light path and here's the one centimeter light path so. Give it a little wipe. And put her in there. Close the lid. Look at the absorbance. And then document it. So here are our results using the one centimeter light path and our five centimeter light path. And um, here's our test sample the readings on both and now we'll, we're going to plot them and see what our test sample result is. Okay so these are the results of the nitrite spectrophotometer test that we performed. Um, here are our standards that we tested to come up with a calibration curve. This is milligrams per liter of nitrate as nitrogen. And then these were the spectrophotometer readings, the absorbance at 543 nanometers. And these were the absorbance readings. We did switch the um, cubet to a, a, a longer light path, a rectangular cubet, just to check to see if the five centimeter light path would give us any more accuracy. Um, this is just a chart indicating how we made up these standards. And then <clears throat> our test sample was the water from our lab, just the potable water, drinking water. And these were the two absorbances that we read. So in order to determine the nitrite concentration from the absorbance, we compare these absorbances to our calibration curve. So we plot these, and that's what I've shown here. So on the x-axis is the nitrate concentration of our standards that we made up, and then the corresponding uh, absorbance. Here's the absorbance at a one centimeter light path. Here's the absorbance at a five centimeter light path. And you'd expect it to be a higher absorbance because the light is traveling further through the sample. So what we, how we calculate or estimate the um, the nitri nitrite concentration in our test sample is we enter this graph either at the 0 0.028 uh, um, absorbance using the one centimeter uh, calibration curve, or we enter at 0 0.131 absorbance for the five centimeter calibration curve. And I'll show you um, Basically, so what we've got here, actually our calibration curves are, are quite good. Um, this is a best fit line using Excel. And we see that the R squared value is basically one, which is perfect. Um, just a little less. The R squared, remember, gives us a measure of the error between the data points and this linear line. And as well for the one centimeter light path, we get 0.9992 R squared, which is basically perfect fit to a linear. So both, both of these are quite adequate for estimating our nitrate concentration. And here's the fitted line. So the Y being the absorbance is equal to a factor times X, here's the X axis, being our nitrate concentration. Uh, plus, plus or minus a constant in each case. We can use those equations and the results of our test sample. Okay. So here's for the one centimeter light path. 
And this was the equation that I just showed you, the best fit equation. The absorbance was a factor times our nitrate concentration plus a constant. And then for the five centimeter light path, this was our calibration curve. Okay. But we're not after the absorbance, we're after the nitrate concentration. So if we take this equation and solve it for the nitrite concentration, we get the nitrate is the absorbance, right? We'll subtract this from both sides of the equation. So then that will be that factor divided by our, 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 our 3.4403. And if we plug in our absorbance here that we tested in our test sample, we get a little bit of nitrate. There's not much in there. Um, but we do, we are able to measure it down to about 7 micrograms per liter. Um, the uh, um, maximum contaminant level for nitrate is 0.1, so it's pretty good shape. Uh, and then a similar exercise for the 5 centimeter light path, and in that case we get 8 micrograms per liter. So we are detecting uh, a little bit of nitrate. Any questions? Yeah? Um, yeah, okay. <laughs>